ethical issues related to productivity performance bonus of social security system. An analysis by Boy Rebecca Paula, Garcia Francesca Amery, Lizardo Stephanie Kaila, Paulino Gwinnett Christensen, and Zafra Patrick John Ray. The Philippine Social Security System, or also known as the SSS, was founded in 1957. It is a social insurance program for employees in the Philippines, which is owned by the government. The benefits of SSS are, the covered employees are entitled to a package of benefits under the Social Security and Employees' Compensation programs, such as in the event of death, disability, sickness, maternity, and old age. In the year 2013, there was an issue in the SSS with regards to the 1 million pesos given as a productivity performance bonus to SSS executives, in which they were able to hit and even exceeded their financial target for the year by acquiring some good investments and obtaining significant savings. Eight of the SSS board officials will receive 1 million bonus each because of their high rate performance. According to Emilia de Queros, this productivity bonus that they will give will help the SSS to compete with private firms. Unfortunately, critics didn't see that this was moral due to some reasons. The SSS will about to implement a 0.6% increase on the member's monthly premium to cover its unfunded liabilities. The contribution payment will increase by 0.6%. Second is, the SSS Reserve Fund was still far lower than the international standard. They haven't reached the international standard, yet they still push to give 1 million bonuses. And lastly, the SSS weren't able to serve the ordinary members effectively. It seems that the SSS had standards between the ordinary and the premium members. Now. What is the importance of investing a productivity performance bonus if the SSS is unable to provide quick, convenient, and significant services to its ordinary members? Is it justifiable for the members of the SSS to receive the bonuses given that it is their job to provide good services to their members? In order for us to know the factors of the problem of this case, the objectives were to have insights on whether the granted bonuses for the SSS executives are justifiable. In order to know thus the 1 million pesos was really what truly deserve of the employees. To pinpoint why the critics are opposing the 1 million bonuses given to the SSS executives because of the mentioned three reasons why thus the critics disagrees. And lastly, to come up with some recommendations for the problems encountered in the issue. According to Dermas, having a suggestion system can boost the employee's moral and motivation. Also, deliver more value for customers since they can easily identify what the customers want and needs and how they can deliver the alternatives to them. The first alternative solution is training, coaching, and mentoring. To improve the employee's performance and productivity, the HR department must create a digital suggestion system for the employees. This will give voice to the employees to share their opinions, ideas, complaints to their working environment. Using a digital suggestion system enables the organizations to collect data easily to resolve certain problems inside the workplace and for improvement from their employees. This system will give employees chances to partake in dynamic work. Accordingly, they feel enabled and expect more responsibility for work. Employees will feel more engaged when the organization will take care about their insights, listen to their ideas, complaints, and suggestions. The second alternative solution is improving services and facilities to be competent with private firms. Being competent to other companies is not limited to giving bonuses or monetary rewards. With given information that SSS has been unable to provide quick, convenient, and significant services, 
they should focus more on improving their services. Hence, they should first identify what are the causes of these shortcomings. If the deficiencies are perhaps from their technology equipment and facilities, they should invest in innovating. If it is from their manpower, that could be the cause of lack of leadership of the management, they should invest in seminars and training for their employees. And the last alternative solution is, according to Clark, collaborating on work or projects can help to develop better ideas and even improve employee engagement by encouraging teamwork. Conducting a team building in an organization helps to build a good relationship between the employees and the manager. It increases the development of having engagement that can lead to having a positive work environment because it will be easy for them to be open to one another. When an employee is being engaged with other people in the organization, they will be motivated to work hard towards a common goal that is in line with the company's vision and they will be committed to the values their organization represents. Furthermore, it will be easy for them to collaborate on how the organization will achieve its goal in the future. For alternative course of action, we the researchers opted for alternative one with the reason that it will give the firm a better solution in improving the employee's performance and productivity. We believe that using feedback from employees will increase their engagement in the firm because it is innate to humans when their actions can contribute and make difference. Especially during the current situation that we have, the coronavirus pandemic, it is ideal for us to use digital suggestion system by using QR code for a fast and contactless transaction. Giving them voices to speak about their insights and ideas can actually help in increasing the connection between the employees and the organization. The relationship between the organization and employees are important because this will help them discuss in what system that needs to give more emphasis in improving. Any result increases our connection to personal contribution. By this, it helps in practice the employees to speak and not to be shy about their insights and ideas. This will help them especially in the future. Recognizing that their insights will make a difference, Workers also spend more discretionary time seeking ways to enhance their working and success environments. An active employee is a participative and creative employee. Besides, it makes good business sense to take feedback from your employees because they often have valuable insights into how to enhance operations. Your workers have a rich understanding of what your clients need and want because they are on the front main lines. You can also strengthen the customer service of your company by harnessing their first-hand customer experience, thus increasing customer loyalty and enjoying greater income. What we learned about this case, it is essential to serve all the members of social security system without bias. In order to sustain a good relationship with all the members, they shall be treated equally. Yes, giving productivity performance bonuses and other incentives would create stronger motivation for employees. In order to get these bonuses and incentives, the employees should perform first their responsibilities well to attract more investments and clients that would help to increase the performance of the social security system. If the employees weren't able to perform their duties well, it may cause or would result in burdens or problems.